Hello everybody, so my name is Owen Fox and today myself and Belle I want to share a video on how to be blissful and how to experience love in your love life and in your life. How to be happy and fulfilled and content and how to savour and cherish the gifts of life. Because if you haven't noticed, so many of us walking around the place, including myself at times, and especially in the past, we're living a sleepful life of little joy, happiness, bliss, elation, excitement, fulfillment, satisfaction. And sort of just living in the surface level. And there's so much stress and strife involved and little true depth and meaning. So myself and Bella want to make a video about how to actually connect on a deeper level and experience far more, more quantities of satisfaction, fulfillment, happiness, joy and savouring life truly. So everyone, what is bliss? Bliss is a state of high, high elevational high vibrational elevated sense of happiness and joy and satisfaction and fulfillment in my opinion. This year I've been experiencing far more bliss than ever in my life and satisfaction, contentment and fulfillment and peace of mind and pure joy, happiness and freedom. So we all want happiness, joy and freedom, playfulness and fulfillment. So. If you don't, if you can't have it now and you're waiting for the future, waiting for something you want, if you're waiting for something to go away and for something to come, how can you have more without, before that future moment? Because so many of us are waiting to the future for a sense of savior or satisfaction or fulfillment. When this thing goes away now, then I'll be happy. When this thing comes along that I want, then I'll be happy. When this partner comes along that I want, oh, then I'll be happy. I feel so bad now being single and alone. That's what people are thinking. They're waiting for the future, the new, the thing that they want or the thing that they have now to go away that they don't want. So we're living in a perpetual state of wanting and waiting and dissatisfaction and unfulfillment. So how do we raise our vibration? How do we tune into the vibration of higher states of living, fulfillment, vibration, fulfillment, satisfaction, contentment, peace, ease, grace, harmony, joy? Lynn says, can I share this? Of course I can, I'm making it to share. I'm making it so people will watch and share. Thanks everyone, do share. Of course, you, I like that because it shares the message. For a higher vibrational planet for all of us. And then, obviously, even from a selfish type of point of view, I'll happen to meet more people who are higher vibrational to connect with and have fun, love and laughter. Bella Boots. <laughs> so, how do we tune our vibration into having more of those high moments, the pinnacle peak moments, as some people say? I've talked a lot about healing in the past. Obviously, if healing is a core thing, we have to heal and face what some people call our shadow or our pain body or our pain, okay? We, we need to be honest with ourselves and face that. And that's serious work, so to speak. We can make it lighthearted. And I'm, I'm a total exponent, espousing, bringing in lightheartedness, fun, playfulness, love, and, and even laughter potentially into all the serious stuff into our lives. Okay, so that's number one. And we can do that through healing and just looking at our own programming and how we behave and react and our patterns and our habits. Being honest with our dysfunctional behavior or our habits or our cultural ingrained indoctrination and belief system. So that's number one. That's what I've been doing for years. I've been going to healers and I have been doing especially my own self-reflection and self-honesty. Okay, so number two, this is what I was thinking about at the beginning of the video. How? So this is what the talk came to me lately. If you cannot love, cherish and appreciate this moment right here, right now, as the moments continuously flow in life, always now, here now, right here, if you cannot have a sense of 
presence, as Eckhart Tolle will say, and actually appreciate what's what you got right now. Okay, if you cannot appreciate, love, cherish, or savor this moment in your life, even if you're traveling on the bus, you're going to work, you're cy you're cycling home. Um, even I was cycling home today. I was the coldest I've been all year because I'm wearing shorts all year. Okay, it's like very cold and dark and windy. It's cold. Okay. I was thinking to myself, Owen, can you really like appreciate, love and cherish this moment? And I was thinking, fuck no. And I was like, but you know what? I'm fucking appreciating the thought of getting home. <laughs> and guess what? I was like, even like, I was, my body was stressed. And I was like, fuck. I was getting irritated, okay? But I was thinking, when I expressed this like sense of unease and like, ah, I'm not happy being so cold and stressed. Then I was like, ah, oh, now I can, immediately after, a second later, I was like, ah, now I can, like, appreciate this moment more. But at, even if I couldn't appreciate the moment, I could appreciate the thought of a future moment, which is an interesting thing, because the feeling of looking forward to the future does happen now. But once I let out the sort of frustration or distress, then I was actually more peaceful or content with the fact of what was happening in the moment, which was a sense of physical unease. So if I was to suppress my emotions and say, oh, I'm happy then I wouldn't be happy. But if I'm to say, fuck, I'm not really too happy, ah, then I can be happy, happier, you know, it's, it's almost like ironic. In one of my more recent YouTube videos, I said one of the core secrets to happiness is actually being okay with not being happy and not trying to be so happy all the time. This allows peace and relaxation. This, this will help you to be happier. But if you're always striving to be happy and you're not, hap you're not happy that you're not happy enough, <laughs> how can you ever be happy? You have way too high standards and you get me frustrated all the time because you don't meet your highest standards of being blissful all the time. So, so getting back to point number two. Look at you right now in this video. Let me just ask you a question. How do you feel? Can you in this moment realize that everything in life is constant change and constant loss. You are constantly mo moving through a flow of water where the last flow is already gone. You've lost it. It's like you're floating down a stream. It's like you're standing still, right? And you're standing up like, in your feet. And you're standing in a river. And the water is coming. By the time it touches you, it's already gone. That's what this moment is like. It's a constant stream. You can never hold on to this moment, so to speak, at least the way it is around you. The river has already passed you by the time it's touched you, it's passing you, it's gone. So the question is, you can never experience bliss, peace, happiness, and joy and contentment, okay, or even satisfaction and fulfillment. If you cannot accept the fact and realize deeply, life is constant change, and, and going and coming, okay? Constant change. And you can never really be attached to holding on to anything because it's always going anyway. This moment is always going and so are the people and the things in your life. So the only way to experience true bliss, okay, is to accept and realize the temporariness and the, the change of life because that is the way life works. And you gotta just look around you right now where you are. And ask, see, look around you right now, everyone, honestly. Just look around. In this moment, can you realize, say to yourself, this here is a temporary visitor in my life. I'm never gonna experience this moment ever again, ever. This is sacred holy ground right here, right now. Sacred holy ground. And there's nothing I can ever do to replicate or mimic or bring this back again. And that includes any animal, loved one, human, plant, insect, anything, anything. Like, okay, a thing around you could be, can last a while, like a cup. I'm looking at a cup. But not the living things. And they'll never be the exact same again, anyway, either. So, to just actually... Yeah, this is what it is. It's receiving the present. That's how you be blissful and happy. You receive the present. And it's funny that the, that the present moment is called the present moment because this moment is a present. And most people are not receiving it. Have you ever heard of like listening? Listening is receiving someone, what else someone else is saying. 
if you cannot receive someone's like praise, gratitude or love, you don't get it. You don't receive it. It washes over your shoulders, deflects off of you because you're too closed or hard. And most people are too closed and hard to the present moment, present or the gift. Okay, so they don't receive it. And then, then they're, they're not happy, obviously, because they don't receive the love of the gift of life and consciousness or source spirit. All that is the universe is constantly giving you a gift of life as you're alive. And it's called the present moment. And most of us, you have the opportunity. You have the opportunity to gracefully and graciously love, appreciate and cherish and savor this gift. It's very, very, very special, everybody especially for me, the people and the animals and the insects and the plants, the sky, Mother Nature. Like I was looking at the sky today. It was tremendous. And I spoke to somebody through in the horizon. Let me see. Someone said, Tanya Lee is saying, how you react in the present moment, priceless gifts. The bliss is a result of reacting responsible in the moment. So, Everything is either a lesson or a blessing, or you could call it a blessing. And if you, if you want to cultivate how to love somebody, because the energy of love is a uh, love and appreciation are very, very similar um, vibrations. If you can learn what I'm saying and practice this of more moments in your life, where you cherish any particular simple moment or complicated or complex moment, whatever. If you can be happy and appreciate being on your own, in nature, traveling, doing the little things in life, walking up the stairs, washing your hands, whatever, appreciate the water in the shower, the bath, then you will cultivate the vibration. You'll solidify it of love, gratitude and appreciation and cherishment. You can then shine this newfound higher vibration onto the people in your life and you can start seeing them and recognizing them in a new light, a different light. Okay. So practicing love, gratitude, appreciation and cherishment of the simple moments in your life relating to things and nature and plants, animals, insects and mother nature and your life, you will then be able to solidify this vibration within you and practice it and then shine it out onto the other, the people in your life. So you will then start to actually realize and love the temporariness of who is in your life. And you will know that people are either going to like change. They're going to always be changing. They're going to expand. They can also, they will leave or pass on into spirit. Okay. That's the nature of life. But before that happens, luckily you will be able to love them and appreciate them and realize their temporariness in your life. Isn't it amazing? Isn't this amazing? So your ability to do this in the ordinary moments of your life is also your ability to practice and harness this power to seriously love the hell out of people, love the shit out of people and appreciate them and cherish them. Because <laughs> most of us take it for granted. We take each other for granted. We take life for granted. And then before we know it, it's over almost. We're like, whoo, <laughs> the hell is trying to get up. Just one second. Let me just see if I can um, get something. Here, Bella. Come into the video, honey. Oh, Bella loves me and I love Bella. Aww. And Bella's temporary. And I love you, Bella. Bella knows I love her, you know that? She feels the love and she comes over to me. And look at her. Usually she never gets on anyone's lap, everyone. She's like a very independent dog who likes her own space. And today she's coming over to me, lying out, sitting on my lap. Aww. She, she, animals feel vibration very effectively. So do children. <laughs> so everyone, that's all I want to say. Hope this video helps and don't forget to share if you feel like it, no pressure. And thanks if I feel like, you know, share, like, comment, leave questions and give me ideas for future videos as well. Until then, I hope you've cherished, appreciated and liked this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope, don't forget to appreciate me while I'm still here in your life. 
that's a good thing everyone we can focus on having instead of the absence of something so instead of getting afraid of losing somebody and that's a different vibration instead of imagining the loss of somebody choose the presence of them choose to focus on that and then you'll feel good instead of feeling bad so focus on having and gratitude and cherishing and appreciating instead of focusing on losing something or somebody okay it's a big difference now bella keeps it's getting up and down a lot today <laughs> okay lots of love everyone take care and um i'll talk to you again another time thanks for cherishing this moment and um i've enjoyed it as well take care lots of love